Tarnished to, uh, now that Fine Gael has allowed the Taoiseach six weeks to make up his mind, maybe we can get back to priorities and issues that affect people's daily lives. And this morning, for example, after Storm Doris last night and this morning, ESB are working hard to ensure people have power restored to their homes. We wish them well in that task. But what I want to deal with briefly this morning is people who unfortunately don't have homes. And I'm conscious of the fact that there have been many, many, many announcements and plans to deal with the challenges that are faced in the housing sector. And we've given time and space and allowed the Minister, whom had the best of intentions and had a wide-ranging consultative process that involved the stakeholders and even a, was fed into by a, an Oireachtas committee from this House. We always said, in allowing some time to see if it could be implemented, considering the failure, the abject failure of the previous plan under the same people within government. And it was always going to be about implementation and we wished it well. However, it's time that we began to have an honest appraisal of what is actually being delivered on the ground. And records continue to be set in relation to the amount of people that are homeless, in relation to the cost of rent, in relation to the, the whole gambit associated with the housing construction sector and the provision of housing. And Focus Ireland on Monday showed that last month a child was becoming homeless every five hours. Now that's a shameful statistic. And we are obliged in this House to seek to remove whatever obstacles, whatever they are, that are preventing the implementation of any such plans. On Tuesday, for example, the Taoiseach was here and he waxed directly about the fact that there was over 8,500 units presently under construction. And I, from over there, lost my head in trying to point out to him that that wasn't at all true. And I don't want to be, you know, losing my cool. But the frustration that is felt by those who come into my clinics and everybody else's is one we have to try and impart to yourselves in government. Of those units he talked about, only 1,800 are actually, 1,829 are actually under construction. <coughs> The rest are going through various stages, and the majority of them were, only, were approved over two years ago. 652 units is all that was built last year, and by 2020, the majority of houses that we're talking about won't be built at all, and at best, those 8,500 will. Many local authorities haven't built any last year. It would appear that you seem, seem obsessed with announcements and in the hope that that will bamboozle people with volumes of detail so they won't actually see what's going on anymore. But we all know, and we all see, and we all are quite aware that progress is not being made. And if I could just continue for a second, I think it's important to you know, get back to basics here on court in relation to this issue because of too much deflection in recent weeks. You know, Minister Coveney, in, 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 in his quarterly report recently, said that there'll be 1,000 units built this year. That compares to 5,000 that's in the plan last year. So what I want to ask. You know, and a Dublin County Councillor said to me from Fianna Fáil said last night, there are 500 acres, last count Corla, available for construction that is zoned uh, for residential use and not being used. Why is that when there are 7,500 people homeless? Can, can you tell me also, why are you not consulting with the likes of credit unions, whom have available to them no, 8 billion, that you insist must be Tanister. with the pillar banks on deposit earning nothing, whereby they are prepared to invest please. in this sector. T so so finally, a minute over. Last, last point, last question. No, no, you have Direct another question. opportunity. Direct you question. Have tell me. No, no, no. Just tell me. Just tell me. I can't. Tell me. I can't. She can just tell me. Why, why, why is there to happen? Resume your seat. Tanister, why is why is point? Deputy, three minutes. Three minutes. Tanister. Thank you. Well, as you well know, Deputy, this country, just a number of years ago, was in an extraordinary difficult economic situation. Yesterday, we saw the employment figures again improving, and we saw unemployment being reduced down to 6.8%. A figure, by the way, which your own party said would never be reached, and that the targets in the Jobs Action Plan would never be reached. So that's the position you're coming from in relation to your view of the various action plans that have been put forward. 
but the figures speak for themselves when it comes to uh, employment. Now, in relation to housing, we have the approach uh, that has been spelt out clearly by Minister uh, Coveney. We have more money, uh, more input than ever before, more detailed work with various local authorities uh, to provide housing. We accept the seriousness of the situation. That's why there is a minister with particular responsibility. The budget in that department has increased more than the budget in any other department in order to reflect the seriousness of the crisis. Today, 32 million uh, will be announced uh, to deal uh, with the repair and leasing, and local authorities uh, will work around the country to make sure that more properties are available for those in need of housing. Also this week, the four Dublin local authorities have confirmed uh, that uh, we will meet uh, the uh, point which uh, Minister Coveney has made in relation to that uh, children and families will not be using hotels uh, in the Dublin area. That's been confirmed by the four local authorities by mid this year. So what we can see is a targeted social plan. For example, you, you, you speak about the figure of 8,500. There are 8,500 social housing units uh, being built uh, across the country at the moment, with 509 uh, different organisations, uh, different projects delivering those houses. So that's real, that's on the ground, that is about, about providing housing. It is about making sure that we can deal with the huge demand that is out there. And of course, we have new people coming into the country. We have families looking for housing. We accept the seriousness of the situation. Uh, that is why it has been a priority uh, for the government. That is why the budget is there to deliver. And that is why so many different units across the country, local authority, public and private, are delivering those houses. And just as the jobs have been delivered over the last uh, couple of years, and just as the target has been met and exceeded, we will meet the targets which have been outlined in relation to housing. But it does take some time, as everybody recognises. But the plans are underway, the money is there, the budget has been allocated, and it has been prioritised by government. The Karen, one minute. Thank you. Um, tarnished it. If you knew, or if you were aware, or if you were interested in the urgency of this situation, if you were as frustrated as everybody else is with the lack of real progress, with the fact that if 8,500 units are under construction and the majority of them were, were, were approved two years ago, many of them are not even on site yet, you would be asking questions at Cabinet and you would be aware and in a position to answer the question that I am asking of you now. And I'm just taking one local authority area as an example, and it's where many would say the crisis is at its worst. In Dublin, in South County Dublin, why is it there is 500 acres of zoned residential lands idle with no specific plans from a local authority to deal with it? State-owned lands. Why is it? Why is it that you haven't recognised the obstacles that are not allowing that to come to fruition much quicker than it should be? Why is it that you will not look at an authority other than local authorities, other than the Department of, Edu of, 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 of Environment, who have failed miserably in the last number of years? You're depending on conventional methods that have failed to deliver a plan that you said was going to be the best and the greatest ever when you were in government last year. But you need to be able to tell me it should be your job and you should do it as a matter of course and instantly. Why please. is 500 acres idle when 7,500 people are homeless, when a child is becoming it. homeless Tanished every it. five hours Tanished of the, every day? Uh, between his own department and local authorities to ensure that housing is built as rapidly as possible. And it's worth looking at some of the initiatives that have taken place and have been delivered already. 8,380 social housing supports provided to people in 2016 with expenditure of 935 million on housing last year, exceeding the target 
of 17,240. So a very positive start to meeting the targets. You're talking about meeting targets and whether the government is meeting the targets that have been outlined. You might listen to now some of the targets that have been met. The Housing Assistant Payment Homeless Pilot in Dublin, 810 stable and supported housing tenancies for homeless individuals, delivered by the end of 2016. Housing Assistance Payment, uh, introduced in nine local authority areas. At the end of 2016, 350 rapid built homes. And wherever possible, housing being delivered by local authorities and land being made available and housing being provided. And as I say, 8,500 underway at present.